Today we are going to talk about a bunch of things including whether or not the YouTube Creators Playbook is wrong about how often you should be uploading new content to your channel. Also there's a new series coming out from YouTube with lots of pro tips from top creators here on YouTube and some of the terminology is changing about how you earn your money and lots of stuff That's, and way more is all coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it's Tuesday, which those of you guys have been around for a while know that that means we take a look at what's happened last week in the online video world and talk about what implications it has for those of us who are video creators here on YouTube and other places. And today we want to start it off with a new HTML5 app that YouTube has built specifically for smart TVs who might not have the YouTube app built in. Basically, you can just go to youtube.com slash TV and it will redirect you to a page that looks exactly like this. You can use it on your computer too if you'd rather just use a much bigger version of YouTube. But if you happen to have a console or some sort of device connected to your television that doesn't have the YouTube app built in, you can just go to that through the browser of that device, pop it up on your TV, and it'll just give you the same experience that like my smart TV has this right there, has built in into the app. Or maybe you just have an extra computer lying around and you're just gonna hook it up to your TV kind of permanently. You can just kind of have your start page open up to youtube.com slash TV and you can easily use YouTube on your big screen TV. Another change that YouTube talked about last week is that they will hopefully be decreasing the amount of time it takes for a video to load on their site. They say that 200 milliseconds is about the approximate amount of time it takes for a brain to register a delay and they know that once the brain registers a delay, people are less likely to watch another video, they'll click away and the user experience just kind of disintegrates. YouTube thinks that they can get to about a hundred millisecond delay, which will be like an imperceivable amount of time from the time someone clicks on something to when the video starts playing. Basically, the way they're going to do this is that right now a YouTube watch page loads a lot of different things, CSS, the video, the YouTube player, and it all takes a lot of, you know, amount of time. But instead, they said, we can actually just load the YouTube player once, and then it doesn't have the reload every time you click on something else. That saves time. Plus, they can kind of learn to predict what they think you're going to click on next and preload the first couple seconds of those videos so that they're ready to go. As soon as you click on them, they will instantly start playing and then progressively download the rest of the video as you watch it. If you want to learn more about that upcoming improvement and all the technical aspects behind it, there's a link in the description text below this video here on YouTube. Just click on that and I'll take you to a video of them at YouTube talking about it. Another change is that YouTube is renaming some things in your YouTube analytics regarding your earnings reports and basically they're going to take AFV and rename that to AdSense and and the YouTube earnings will be renamed to DoubleClick. What's happening here is that YouTube has two ways in which they sell advertisements against your content. One is the auction, which is AdSense. That system makes it really easy for anyone to log in and promote their advertising creatives, whether it be a video or images or whatever they're trying to promote on the site, by entering into an auction where the views go to the highest bidder for that category, the content they're targeting, or whatever the case may be. The system is very automated and it works very well, but typically the CPMs are a lot lower there through auction than they are through reserved sold advertising, which YouTube uses through its system called DoubleClick. Through DoubleClick, YouTube is working directly with an advertiser to sell advertising space against specific content or videos on YouTube. The takeaway for you guys is make solid content that advertisers are attracted to, that they'll want to work directly with you and your channel and your content, because then your CPM goes way higher and the better you know the audience, the more engaged they are with you, the higher premium an advertiser is willing to spend on you. So, and no, that does not mean that the advertiser wants to work specifically with you. It just means that you are fortunate enough to have one of your videos or your whole channel, if you're really fortunate, lumped into a package that YouTube says to the advertiser, here's a group of videos and channels that we think would really serve your advertisement well. And the advertiser will be like, good, go for it. Just and all, their ads will just happen to be on your video and they really don't even have any idea who you are. Speaking of creating better content, YouTube seems to always be looking for new ways to help you guys do that. And the latest is a new series that they're producing that's coming out sometime soon on their partner support channel. And basically it looks like it's a lot of interviews and a big discussion between 
the top creators on YouTube who will be giving tips, advice, ideas, lessons they've learned the hard way so that you can avoid and do it the right way the first time and a lot of other things. I'm looking forward to this series. Go subscribe to youtube.com slash partner support. I'll link to the full trailer for this series in the description text below this video here on YouTube if you kind of want to get a better idea of what it's about. And one of the most common things that you hear top creators saying is that you need to post frequently. But how frequently is the question. The YouTube Creator Playbook says about once a week is about good. Other people say, you know, successful YouTubers like CGP Grey and others say, don't worry about schedules, just post awesome content that people really want to see. So where's the balance in both of those two extremes? Well, it's interesting that one of the top and upcoming YouTubers, PewDiePie, he is posting new content at like a record pace. And right now he is sitting at nine and a half million subscribers and is projected that sometime in the next couple months he will overtake Smosh as the number one most subscribed channel on YouTube. His videos are around 10 to 20 minutes long each and he's posting like one or two of them every day. Which goes to show a couple things I think for us as creators. One is posting a lot of videos might be helpful in the long run. I've found here on this channel that I post three videos a week as most of you guys know and even though I'm beginning to close in on around 3,000 subscribers. I'm getting a couple hundred views per video, which means that there's a lot of you guys who are probably just picking and choosing which videos you're going to watch, presumably based on my thumbnail and my titles. And I'm okay with that. I do the same thing with my subscriptions. What I want to hear from you guys is what type of posting schedule do you think is appropriate? You think like the more content you can upload, the better, and even though you might not have as many views per subscribers, you give people more and more opportunities needs to potentially find you and your content. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on that in the comments below. Also, the other thing that I take away from PewDiePie is that short little videos, you know, it's kind of like a misnomer, I think, on YouTube. And I think he really confirms that. You don't need to have, like, one and a half, two and a half, three minute videos, you know, keep them short and, you know, that's helpful, but what he proves that we've seen over and over again is that it's not necessarily the length of the video that matters, but it's how engaging it is. People will sit and they'll watch 10, 15, 20, 30 minute videos on YouTube if the content is compelling and keeps them engaged and really sucks and draws them in, and that is more important than the length of your videos. Finally, I want to point you guys to four quick links. They're all in the description text below this video if any of these interest you. The first one is YouTube made a little video just explaining copyright issues a little bit more. And they tried to make it fun and entertaining with a couple puppets. You may or may not find it helpful, but you can go check it out. Two, there's a new app out now that's really getting a lot of discussion in the tech community called TouchCast. And basically it lets you make a quick little video, but make it interactive so people can actually touch your video and interact with tweets and polls and web pages and other things that you put into your video. Think of it kind of as like YouTube annotations on Mac. Of steroids. Number three, there's a new feature in the search bar here on YouTube that basically acts like the I'm feeling lucky button on Google. You'll have to hit a couple of special keystrokes in order to activate it for your browser. Again, the link is in the description text below if you're interested in that. And number four, if you're interested in learning how to use video to attract more incoming links to your website to build its SEO value, there's a link in the description text below that helps you do exactly that. So I hope that was helpful for all of you guys. Tomorrow, as usual, on Wednesdays, we're going to give you guys some YouTube tips, ideas, and suggestions, and just a general advice. And then on Thursday, we're going to do YouTube Q&A, and we're going to answer one of your questions about how do you resurrect some of your old videos that are no longer receiving views or getting much traction. How can you kind of push those up to the spotlight again? That is coming up. If you're not already subscribed, I'd love to have you guys do so, so you can get that content and all the other stuff that I provide here for you guys to do my best to help you guys spread your message here on YouTube so that it reaches the people who really need to hear what you have to say. Thank you for letting me be a part of that. Subscribe, and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.